guys i just wanted to quickly show you rithwik's monastery inspired reading corner so this is what it is okay we have a little book stand and uh, it's right next to his desk which is amazing so he can pick up whichever book he wants um, either go to his uh, reading desk or we can put up a mat on the floor or sit on our couch and just you know ask me to read whichever book he wants and the best part is it is compact so it fits uh, so well into our little learning area space at home and it is perfect to his height okay so he can reach all the four shelves so comfortably and he will go up pick up whichever book he wants and ask me to read it okay and um i just put in whichever books i think he will like um in that particular week and i rotate the books every week or even before that if um, i think he's bored of reading the same books okay and um, this is great because it has a lot of space so um in few of the shelves i can even put like three to four books okay say the first shelf here has a big width okay so as you can see you have a lot of small books okay so this is great because um, it gives them the independence to go and select and choose a book they want to read and then um, you know you can read it out for them so we are totally in love with our little reading corner and um, besides this I also quickly wanted to show you a um, few of the awesome books I got for him yesterday. We are in love with books. Rithvik totally loves his books and I am a little crazy in terms of books. I will go and buy things that I see on really good deal and discount. So all these I got for like such amazing discounts yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show them to you guys. Okay, so this one first is just a book called Noisy Bears. Okay. It's a small reading book, like a fact book about bears. Uh, then this is a hand puppet book, and he totally loves such books. In fact, we have one on our shelf too. It's called Kiku Kiku, which is a hand puppet. And this one is called um, Hello Doodly, okay? So that's the hand puppet. Then I got him a bedtime story book. Then we got this Disney themed animal animal words book, which is amazing. Okay. Uh, and I love these series of books, okay? It's called um, Knowledge for Young Minds. And um, you have different uh, categories. So this one is human body, space, transport, sea animals, okay? So it's it's like a toddler book and so perfect and so basic okay so this one here is space okay sorry for the barking dogs um this one is transport okay it's a yacht airplane this one is animals and birds okay and um, this one is sea animal oh no this one is actually a coloring book sorry so this one is of sea animals and why do they have giraffe in here um so you have crab you have elephant you have golden fish you have um, hippopotamus octopus okay so i thought it's a fun coloring book um, then uh, I got a little phonics books for him. Okay, so this is called Sam the Cat. These are just phonic letter sounds. Okay. Okay, so basic as you can see. Okay. And then I got a couple of flashcards. And I don't use these on its own we always couple it with one of our activities okay so this one is a phonics uh, flashcard and this one is just of different words then this one is a car book and we absolutely love cars so he totally loves this one okay then other one a baby hippo kind of a book okay a storybook um, again this one is uh, a toddler picture in storybook 
okay so much fun i i i know i'm a little crazy when it comes to his books okay um and the one is called adventurous cub the city calf and this one is an alphabet book okay by uh, miriam webster and i love this one okay and it's got beautiful pictures so we practice our sounds and read a little bit about every letter so yeah a lot of books here that's it guys and that's our reading corner thanks for watching bye